Important keys to navigating this course. As we start this course, it is vital that you understand the course expectations. All of the expectations will be covered in the syllabus. This is probably one of the most important documents in the entire course. One of your first assignments is to make sure you read the syllabus. You will have a quiz that verifies that you read and understand the syllabus. Again, I cannot iterate this enough. Please carefully read the syllabus, as all information for the course is included in this document. The syllabus that is on Canvas is the official one for the course. This course is going to progress quickly since it is a five-week course. Please be prepared to engage in course activity each week. If you do not understand a key requirement of the course, please contact me as soon as possible. It is better to ask and get clarification than assume and miss out on an opportunity to earn points. This course will be very short, so please log into Canvas at least every other day to make sure you are not missing out on announcements, lectures, or even assignment due dates. Please review the calendar and the schedule. Assignments, quizzes, and exam dates for the semester are all listed on the calendar. Please do not turn in your assignments late. Assignments turned in at any point during the 24-hour window after the assignment was due will be subjected to a 50% deduction of earned credit. If the assignment is turned in more than 24 hours late, the assignment will receive no credit. Please make sure that you are aware of assignment due dates and are meeting all deadlines. Please watch the online lectures and take notes. I would also encourage you to read the textbook and its corresponding chapters, as the information in the chapters and the lectures will assist you with quizzes, exams, assignments, and discussions. Please participate in thoughtful discussion topics when assigned. Please be courteous to your classmates and show them respect, even if you disagree with them. I know many of you are very close because you've had previous classes together. However, that is no excuse for treating someone poorly in this course. Everyone deserves respect, and each of us has a unique perspective and brings something different to this course, so please be mindful of that. Please note that the Psychological Strategies for Athletic Training Textbook by Grandquist, Hamson Utley, Kino, and Stiller Otrosky is required for this course. If you have not yet purchased the book, I would recommend that you either find it online or purchase the text at the University Bookstore. I believe this text is also available in the University Library, or you can borrow it from a friend. You will need this text when the course begins. We will be utilizing this textbook quite a bit during our course. This textbook most frequently focuses on the psychology from a clinician standpoint. Additionally, I have added a lot of supplemental information about sports psychology and how to increase effective performance, as this information may aid you or help you to understand the influence of our patients from other angles that coaches or sports psychologists may be utilizing. These tools may also help you to connect with your patients in the rehabilitation setting as well. Further, athletic trainers are great at taking care of others, but sometimes we forget to practice self-care. In 2019-2020, approximately 20.78% of all adults were experiencing a mental illness. That is the equivalent to over 50 million Americans. At 20%, this means that one in five adult Americans will experience mental illness in their lifetime. In some communities, athletic trainers are the primary source of information for health care, and this includes mental and behavioral health concerns. Even with additional resources, we as athletic trainers are often the closest person to our patients and can help provide holistic care, and therefore, this aspect of our profession is extremely important. One last thing with this textbook. Please note that you do not need the Davis Plus code in your textbook, so you are free to purchase this as a digital resource. We will cover many of the chapters in the textbook, and those will be labeled as such. Any supplemental material will be labeled as supplemental. I will try to provide as many resources as possible for the supplemental information to make it easier on you. This is a tentative schedule for this semester. Please make sure that you plan accordingly 
And I would highly encourage you to print off this document, which can be found under the Syllabus tab on Canvas and within the syllabus itself. This can help you to stay on track for the semester. Good luck and let's have a great semester. We're going to hit the ground running. Five weeks will go by quickly, so please be sure to keep on top of your studies and do not fall behind. Remember, I am here to help, so please reach out to me if you need anything during this course. I will see you all again in person very soon, but enjoy the time we have together online.